checking the yard this evening. Looks like I got me a silver dime. Hard to go. <laughs> Alright, let me spray it off here and see what I got. Right. Looks like a 1937. Alrighty. I'll take it. Alright. Just pop this plug and I got something really big here. I don't know if it's a token. Yeah, it looks like a big aluminum token. Uh, it's like a pirate with a captain's hook on it. Huh. That's a new one. There's all I have. Let me get cleaned up here. Looks like it says Florida Tool Products. I have to clean it up real good and see what it really says. But all right, pretty cool. How am I going there for a second? I thought I had a half dollar or something. Still pretty cool. All right, sorry for the mower noise, but I was getting the signal here in the mid 70s, mid to high 70s. Looks like we got a either a small sin or a button. Oops. It's an Indian head. I can see the one cent already coming through. Alright. I might be able to get a year off of it here. It's pretty chowed up. I'll have to clean it up here to see what I can find on it. Alright, it's pretty pretty crusty. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a year, but uh, it's an Indian. Alright. I'm not sure what I got here. Check my old school or a church lot. This is ringing up in the 60s. I think it's probably a button. Oh, that's weird. I don't see anything like that. Uh, let me get some hands on here and clean it up a little bit see what I got. Right, looks like I got an old coin here. It's ringing up an A4. Typically that's an Indian, but I don't know if this will be or not. Oh, nope, it's a wee penny. It's like an old one though. Okay, I had to dig way down underneath this root to get it. It was a 56, 57. Looks like I got an old nickel. Uh, I can't tell any details on that side. Uh, I think it might be a shield, actually. Let me get it rubbed down here and I'll see. We'll see what we got. can't tell she's awful chewy I see a date on this side I can't see that on the bottom which it's probably a V the date's too big I see a 98 so I think it's an 1898 V nickel I'll see if I can get it cleaned up here and get another look at it all right right there it is 1898 cool take that Nickel signal. We got another nickel. It's just a J. 
Jefferson. Alright. Got another coin here. It looks like a penny. It's running up in the high 70s. That may just be a sink penny, but no, this is this looks like an Indian. Got my Indian for this evening. Looks like an older one, too. I think it's an 1872. Picture of it later. All right. All right. Very first hole today. Looks like I got an old nickel. Not an old fairgrounds. I don't know if it's old or. Yeah, it just looks like a modern one. All right. All right. Just got this out. Been digging some weeds. Uh, this is a 1920 something wheat. Uh, the last one was 1946. And they were about eight feet apart, so I'm gonna scope this out area out a little bit here and see what else I can find. Another green penny. Probably another weedy. Yep. Alrighty. All right. First target this evening. Looks like I got a small scent. This green one is probably an Indian head. Yep. Sure is. Looks to be in good shape, too. I think it's an 1869. That's a that's an older one. Yep, sure is. 1869 is in really really good shape. And I'll get it cleaned up and get some pictures later. Let's see what the back looks like real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be in good shape, too. All right. Good way to start the evening. All right. Looks like I got another coin. It's ringing up in the mid-70s. Uh, I think I got another fatty. That makes... Oh, man. How many have I found off this site, fatties? Uh, maybe this one will be a first year. I'm still looking for a 59 or... I'll take a fly and able to. I found a few of those. Give it a rub down here. Okay, let me get it cleaned up here. I'll get right back with you. Okay. Looks like a or an 1863. I can see the last two digits there. So it is another fatty. I found a 62 here the other day. So, alright. Okay, I got something that's ringing up about a 78, 79 here. And when I uncovered it, it went up to 83. It looks like either a button. Ooh. No, it's not a button, I don't think. Yeah, it is. Yep. Alright, 
No flat button, no shank. Good deal. Alright, I done pulled one nickel out of here. I didn't think it was very old. I got to look and it was actually a 1940 Jefferson. And I got another one here. Hopefully this one may be a bit of buffalo. It sure is. <laughs> So I got a 1940 Jefferson and a Buffalo. Let's see if I can get a year off of it here. Okay. Uh, the pants rub. Um, I can't tell. Maybe I'll get it cleaned up later and find the year on it. Alright. Okay, this is ringing up as an 85. It looks awful green. Looks weird looking. What in the world is this? Uh, it looks to be some kind of foreign coin. Let's see, a 1937. Huh. I don't know what that is. Stylos. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking coin. I have no idea what it is. I'll have to do some research on it and figure it out later. Alright. I'm guessing it's an Indian because it's ringing up about a 78 on the desk too, so typically that's where they ring. Yep, sure it is. It's an other weedy. And I really need to get me another bird. Ouch. I mean, it was different.
might be a deep, uh, deep nickel here. It's a silver nickel. That is a war nickel, I believe. Nice. Got my silver. Get my squirty squirted out. Nineteen. All right, want to take time to do a clean little video here. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a video, but start out with just the various finds, toe taps, harmonica reeds, and a pocket knife, part of a lantern, or a little lamp, old pocket watch, a bunch of clad, some keys, things like that, and then uh, getting into the good stuff here at several wheat cents. Uh, several Indians, uh, including this one's a uh, 1863 fatty. And there's a nice 1869. Uh, I don't think I got a year off of this one. Yeah, it's pretty toasted right there where the year's at, but. Yeah, there are a couple more. I think they were back in the 1800s. Old uh, aluminum ring. This aluminum token here. Uh, pool products. A skeleton key. Didn't get that on film. But. And got uh, some odds, odds and ends buttons. Some of these were accidental finds when I was digging other finds. It's a little like, uh, I think they call it like a... Good year button. Anybody what's what they're called? Some flat buttons. Then I got a uh, 45 war nickel. And 1940 Jefferson was in the same hole as this 1924 Buffalo. And then I got a 1898 uh, V nickel. I got this pretty cool Mexican coin one centavo. Uh, 1937 and then I got a mercury dime 1937 on it too so well, it was a pretty good month so hopefully we'll get more fields cleaned off here in the next few months or next few weeks get them uh, mowed off and then of course the harvest and be able to get out in the fields a little bit and maybe find some more good things. Alright, thanks for watching.